NVIDIA is introducing the future of gaming by merging denoising and upscaling with DLSS 3.5, a groundbreaking technology set to redefine interactive entertainment. This AI-powered technique enhances ray tracing quality. DLSS 3.5 is more than just an innovation, it's a gateway to immersive gaming. It improves image quality and performance by skillfully refining missing pixels using artificial intelligence. But before we delve into details, let's explain what ray tracing is and why we need it. 1. What is ray tracing? Ray tracing is a rendering technique that generates highly realistic lighting effects by simulating the interaction of light with virtual objects. This algorithm traces light paths and replicates real-world lighting in video games, leading to progressively more lifelike in-game lighting effects over time. The key advantage of ray tracing lies not solely in the illumination, but in its interaction with the virtual environment. It enables the creation of authentic shadows, reflections, enhanced scattering, and improved translucence by calculating light impact points and their resulting interactions. 2. Why do we need it? Traditional ray tracing involves a game engine with scene materials and geometry. However, it doesn't directly create the scene's appearance due to unprocessed data. The engine holds data points without understanding how to translate them into on-screen graphics during gameplay, and it can't compute lighting interactions either. To create the ultimate image using ray tracing, rays are cast into the scene to interact with lighting and geometry, forming the final visual output. First, we need to understand how a ray traced image is computed. The game engine has the materials and geometry for the scene, but that doesn't tell us how the scene looks because we haven't computed how all the lighting interacts with the scene. To compute the final image with ray tracing, we send rays into the scene to interact with the lighting and geometry. But we can never send enough rays into the scene to understand exactly how the scene looks because there are so many pixels and because the rays don't distribute themselves evenly throughout the scene. There's always holes in our understanding of every scene. Even offline ray tracers have to deal with this problem. However, we can never send enough rays into the scene to precisely capture how the scene looks. This is due to the sheer number of pixels, and the rays don't distribute themselves evenly across the scene. Regardless of the efforts by companies, gaps in understanding persist. Furthermore, this problem is not confined to online games. Even offline ray tracers encounter this issue. Number three, how does ray tracing help tackle the problem? Now. This is solved by using denoises. For each frame you observe, multiple denoises come into play. These denoises amalgamate information across pixels in the frame. They achieve this by blending them together and accumulating information. This process allows them to generate the best estimate of how the scene should appear. Nevertheless, challenges do arise in the realm of denoises. They accumulate pixels from previous frames, essentially borrowing pixels from the past to enhance detail. However, this practice introduces ghosting and eliminates dynamic lighting effects. For every frame that are combining information across pixels in the frame by blending them together and across multiple frames by accumulating information in order to come up with our best estimate of how the scene looks. Denoisers accumulate pixels from prior frames. In this image, if you observed closely, you'd notice ghosting, a consequence of the denoiser issue. It extracts information from previous frames and places it inaccurately. Moving on to the second image. The denoiser has eliminated the global illumination effects. Similarly, reflections may exhibit reduced detail due to the denoiser's tendency to merge information throughout the frame. Lastly, in the third image, the denoiser's action of blending pixels has resulted in a loss of detail, further deteriorating the image quality. Presently, ray tracing is accompanied by upscaling, and this presents an issue. This compels the denoiser to face an even more demanding task. The denoiser intentionally eliminates high-frequency information to achieve a smoother image. At this juncture, you might question whether the exceptional graphics are truly worthwhile. Reflect on it. Both denoising and upscaling are intricate undertakings. Here you can see ghosting that's introduced when the denoiser grabs information from the past frame in the wrong place. And you can also see in this example that the global illumination effects in this image were removed by the denoiser. The detail in this reflection was reduced because the denoiser blurred pixels together. These days, ray tracing is followed by upscaling, and that makes the job of the denoiser even more challenging because the denoiser naturally removes high-frequency information in order to make a smooth image. 4. DLSS 3.5 
However, with the integration of AI, we now have the opportunity to merge denoising and upscaling, utilizing a single model to comprehensively address both challenges. And which model, you may ask? It's none other than DLSS 3.5, a technology poised to revolutionize the way we experience gaming. However, let's not get too carried away. DLSS 3.5 is not yet available for all games. Currently, NVIDIA is directing DLSS 3.5 towards games that offer ray tracing. For instance, Cyberpunk 2077 is set to receive DLSS 3.5 support with its upcoming Phantom Liberty DLC release on September 26th. Similarly, Alan Wake 2, launching on October 27th, will feature this technology alongside full ray tracing. Additionally, Portal with RTX will undergo an upgrade with DLSS 3.5 in the fall of 2023. At present, DLSS employs hand-tuning denoises to enhance missing pixels for each lighting pass. As previously discussed, a myriad of problems and challenges can arise in this context. Hence, NVIDIA is actively addressing these issues through the implementation of an AI-powered network to refine the process. DLSS 3.5 will enhance the quality and performance of typical ray-traced games. The rationale behind its inclusion in demanding ray-tracing titles such as Alan Wake 2 and Cyberpunk 2077 is that these games stand to gain the most from this technology. This benefit extends to to both image quality and overall performance. With DLSS 3.5, we are introducing Ray Reconstruction, which runs on all RTX GPUs to provide the best image quality for ray traced effects by incorporating additional inputs from the game engine and a new AI model that does both super resolution and ray reconstruction at the same time. 5. DLSS 3.5 versus DLSS 3 Here's why DLSS 3.5 surpasses the current DLSS 3. DLSS 3.5 is trained on five times more data than version 3. Moreover, creators will have the capacity to utilize 3.5 in 3D editing applications like NVIDIA Omniverse, D5 Renderer, and Chaos Vantage. This technology will significantly enhance the quality and and precision of render previews with these applications. For gamers, this should evoke excitement. Nonetheless, it's important to acknowledge that implementing this technology into games will require some time for developers. In the fall of 2023, Fortnite is set to receive a DLSS 3 update. Consequently, it'll be a while before we witness support for DLSS 3.5. Even Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 will solely support DLSS 3. DLSS 3.5 will introduce ray reconstruction, incorporating additional inputs from from the game engine. It also employs a novel AI model that simultaneously achieves super resolution and ray reconstruction. The rationale behind DLSS 3.5 utilizing five times more data lies in the diversity of ray tracing effects that the model must recognize and handle. 3.5 is trained on five times more data than DLSS 3. This was necessary because of the diversity of ray tracing effects that the model needs to recognize and work with. We've trained this new DLSS model to recognize many different ray tracing effects, to make smarter decisions about temporal and spatial information reuse, and to retain all the high frequency data that's necessary for high quality upscaling. Ray reconstruction is smarter than denoisers. The DLSS AI is trained on a huge data set of images created using an offline rendering process with far more computation than could be available in real time. NVIDIA has meticulously trained this new model to discern a multitude of effects, enabling it to make more informed judgments concerning spatial and temporal information reuse. Furthermore, it preserves all essential high-frequency data required for top-notch imaging. Now, remember the ghosting issue we discussed earlier? It could have been resolved by the model not retaining past data. However, retaining some historical data is also vital for maintaining quality. Thus, this new model mitigates the ghosting effect while retaining necessary data. Observe this. Comparing DLSS off to DLSS 3.5, and you can see that DLSS reduces ghosting and improves the dynamic lighting you can see reflections can be much sharper using ray reconstruction. This clearly demonstrates the significant enhancements in gaming that DLSS 3.5 will bring about. Reflections are notably sharper and more refined, even during motion. Simultaneously, creative applications will also reap benefits. These applications contain extensive content, posing challenges for conventional denoisers due to the need for manual tuning in each scene. This involves a substantial amount of work. Additionally, the image quality generated often 
falls short of expectations. However, with DLSS 3.5, the AI comprehends various scene types, resulting in significantly superior image quality. Hence, DLSS 3.5 offers numerous AI-powered options to boost performance and elevate quality. And if you're still skeptical, take a look at this. We have a scene from Cyberpunk 2077 in RT Overdrive mode. It's beautiful, but it's not playable without AI to improve the experience. We start by enabling DLSS Super Resolution. DLSS Super Resolution reconstructs a 4K output from a much lower resolution input and provides a huge performance boost and great image quality. But we can do better. Next, we turn on DLSS Frame Generation, which analyzes sequential frames in order to create additional frames that further increase smoothness. Finally, we can turn on DLSS Ray Reconstruction, which further improves image quality for ray trace effects, and in this scene also improves FPS just a bit. The reason that can sometimes happen is that we're replacing multiple denoisers with one AI model. DLSS 3.5 surpasses DLSS 3 by a significant margin. Furthermore, DLSS 3.5 achieves a slightly improved frame rate. In essence, there's plenty to be enthusiastic about. This marks just the beginning. Nvidia has elevated its AI capabilities, and in order to stay competitive, other companies will also be dedicating efforts to advance this technology. As time progresses, we can anticipate further enhanced this underscores the fact that AI has now become considerably more crucial than mere raw graphics power. Watch these videos as well. Hit that subscribe button, like, and drop a comment below to let us know your thoughts.